Welcome everyone, she's Megan. And he's RJ. And this is GoSeeThePlace.com, your inspiration for travel beyond your dreams. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to create your very own travel itinerary spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel. This is an incredibly useful tool that we use on all of our travels to gather all the relevant information that we've planned so that we can see it in one easy to read place. We'll be using a free template that we've created for you to customize for your trip. A link to our freebie page will be included in the links below for you to download and follow along. We're going to be using some information from our upcoming trip just so that we have something to work with. It's super easy to create, so let's get to it. All right, we are in Microsoft Excel. This is the program you're going to need to use in order to customize your itinerary spreadsheet. To get started, we will go to File, Open, and you're just going to find that file titled Itinerary Spreadsheet and go ahead and open it. Now, it opens and down here on the bottom, you can see that there's four tabs. Um, the first two is a one-week template and there is also a two-week template. These are blank so that you can print them out uh, and write on them with pencils, pens, highlighters, and do like a rough draft version of this. Or you can just start entering in your information here in Microsoft Excel and print out a completed spreadsheet like this once you are all done. These last two tabs, one here for Costa Rica and one here for Germany, these are just references uh, for you to see how we enter in information and the type of information that we enter in for each cell. And we're gonna go over how to enter in all this information. So to start, we're gonna go back to itinerary template one week, and we are going to make a mock template here using information from an upcoming trip that we have. So to start, you wanna save your file as your trip name, and you do that by going to file, save as, and then decide where you're gonna save it. We're gonna save it in documents, and then name it the name of your trip. Once you have it saved, you then want to identify the dates of your trip in the gray cells at the top. For example, September 19th. You'll notice that the formatting changed after I entered that in. You can change that formatting by clicking that cell again and then right clicking and then select format cells and then select the date on the left side. And then you'll see that it populates a whole bunch of different date formats. And we're going to go with the second option that includes the day of the week. And then I want to be able to populate those dates on the rest of the gray cells at the top. And you can easily do that by selecting that first cell that you already entered the date in. Scroll your mouse over to the lower right-hand corner. You'll get a black plus sign. Click your mouse and then slide it over on the gray cells at the top and then it will populate all of the dates. Now you're ready to create a color key. Scroll down to the bottom of your Excel spreadsheet and you'll see the different colors that we've identified. And then you enter in the information based off of different aspects of your trip. So for example, on our Costa Rica trip, we identified any travel time, blue, any unguided exploring times, anything that you do at your own pace, that is orange. Any of our lodging is green and any guided tours or excursions is yellow. So we're gonna enter in that information, keep the same color key in our itinerary template for one week. Once you have your color key identified, then we're ready to actually enter in our hard information. And what we mean by hard information are our flights, um, our lodging, any guided tours that we believe we're gonna be doing, those are things that we know we're going to do and there's times associated to it. So we'll start with our flight information for our first day. Our flight's going to be from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn this into one cell. Each one of these is a single cell. So we want to highlight this area. And to do that, go ahead and click on the first hour block click and hold 
and then drag it down to 11 a.m. And then up here in the toolbox, under the Home tab, you're going to see this Merge and Center. Go ahead and click that, and it now has turned it into a single cell. Now we can go ahead and enter in the information for our flight. We like to include our airline, our flight number, uh, departure time, and arrival time. But I want to go ahead and change the formatting of this uh, be, to make it easier to read. So to do that, we're going to click on the cell. I'm going to go up here to this text box that's up here. If yours is uh, small or, or too large, you just hover on this line right here until you see this uh, double white arrow. Click and hold, and then you can drag it up and down to make the text box larger or smaller. Going up here to the text that's within your text box, click where you want to format. Hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and click Enter. And that will drop it down to the next line. And then just do that for each other aspect of the information that you want to format. So I'll drop Departures down, hold down Alt or Option, hit Enter, and do it again for the arrival. And then when we click out, you can see that it's reformatted that information for us. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and color this cell using our color key down here. You can see for flying uh, is travel. So we'll go ahead and color this blue. Uh, back up here in the, the toolbar, again, under the Home tab, we'll go ahead and click this drop down arrow. And we want to choose this light blue color. And now you have your first cell. All right, the next information that we like to enter in is our lodging information. And we like to place our lodging information from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. And this allows us to see kind of when we need to go to sleep and when we need to wake up. And of course, this could vary from day to day depending on what you have going on. So to do this, you're going to select your cells. So 8 p.m. down to 11 p.m. Select the first cell at 8 p.m. Keep holding your mouse and highlight down to 11 p.m. And then you're going to go back up to the Emergent Center in your toolbar. You're able to start typing your information in. So we like to identify the name of the hotel and our check-in time. And then you also need to format it again like you did before in the flights. And you do that by selecting the cell, going up into the text box, and then you put your cursor where you want to put the text in the next line and you hit Alt or Option key and then Enter. And now you're ready to identify the color. So since this is our lodging, it's green as we've identified in our key. And you do that by making sure your cell is selected and then going up to your toolbar and selecting the paint pail and clicking on the green, the light green. And then you want to be sure to do this also in the morning of the next day, so from 12 a.m. down to 5 a.m. And then you select the Mergen Center again, and then you only need to identify the hotel name. Click out, and then click back in and put the light green color since we're still identifying our lodging. And now you're done creating your second cell and you're ready to enter in any guided tours or excursions. All right, our last is going to be the exploring or sightseeing. Uh, we like to save this for last because this is done at our own pace and we can kind of fill in uh, these blank areas here um, with some exploring or some sightseeing. So to do that, uh, we're just going to do it the same way we've created all the other ones. So for our first tip uh, would be copying cells. And a good example of this is our lodging, um, which is basically just when we're going to be sleeping. We like to have this included in our itinerary so that we can kind of visualize what our day is going to look like. Um, and we don't want to write this out for every single day. Um, so to easily copy this into every day of your trip, just go ahead and select a cell, right click, and go down to copy. And you'll see that uh, these marching ants let you know that it's been copied. And now um, you can either click on a day 
and right click and go down to this first paste icon down here. Or if you'd like to do multiple days at a time, you can uh, click a cell, hold down command or control on your keyboard, and then click each subsequent cell after that. And then right click one of the days and go down to your paste options here and click on that and it will populate that across all the days that you have selected and keep all the formatting and color all the information the same we could go ahead and do that here so we'll just right click copy click on the next day hold down command or control and click each subsequent day right click and paste options so that's how you copy uh, one cell across multiple days so tip number two is moving cells that you've already completed for whatever reason. For instance, we want to move when we do the travel con onto a different day. So you do that by selecting that cell that you've already completed. You right click and select cut and then you move it to the next day that you want to put it on. So we're going to put it on our fourth day. Same time, so 9 a.m. and then you select right click and then Click on Paste Options. Once you do that, you'll notice that where you took that from, the formatting is screwed up. So to fix that, select each of those cells and then right click and then select where it says the different borders. Select the drop down menu and then select the all borders. And then that fixes the formatting. Our next tip is uh, has to do with our exploring tab, our sightseeing tab. Uh, we'll go here to Germany as a reference and uh, you can see under these orange tabs here uh, we have listed out everything that uh, we pulled out of the guidebook or some online information and we just kind of listed everything that we wanted to see or found interesting out in each one of these sections. And the reason that we suggest doing that is so that you kind of have everything that you already know that you're interested in listed out in one place uh, instead of having to sort through a guidebook or having it bookmarked on your, uh, on your smartphone. All right, so then the next tip is free time. And that's any time that we like to include after tours or flights or giving time for meals, and then also for spontaneous exploring, because anytime we've gone anywhere, there's always something that we see while we're actually out exploring, but maybe we want to go back and see something. And if we have that free time allowed, we can go back and do that. All right. Uh, another tip is uh, definitely including your travel times, your and specifically your drive times. And we'll show you here in the Costa Rica tab. You can see that we have our sleep, you know, we've kind of listed out when we're gonna be sleeping and our uh, tour, uh, the first two full days that we're there, we, we had um, tours that we wanted to do. You can see that we listed out the check-in time here on each one. So we knew that it started here at 7 a.m. And in, including this drive time is just the time that it was gonna take us to get from our hotel to where we needed to check in. It was about an hour. So just including this keeps us honest. It, it kind of uh, lets you know when you need to wake up, you know, if it takes you a set amount of time to get ready or have coffee, whatever, uh, you can plan for that as well. Uh, but definitely include these drive times because you don't want to run into a situation where you woke up too late, you didn't factor in how long it was going to take there, and now you're late for your tour. They've already left and you're SOL. The best tool that we found hands down is uh, Google Maps. It's absolutely the best tool that you can use. So for example, we'll show you uh, here in Austin, here's our hotel, and uh, we just want to get an idea of how long it's going to take to drive from the airport to our hotel. And so to do that, you just click on directions. Once you have your um, destination identified, we'll choose our starting point, and you can just click on that on the map, and it will automatically populate a drive time 
for you, give you a couple different options on how to get there. And then you can just enter this drive time into your itinerary so that you know how long it's going to take to get from point A to point B. You can, in, you can include multiple destinations by clicking this little plus arrow. You can reverse the, the destination just by clicking this and it will tell you driving from your hotel to the airport. And our last tip is how to choose the colors of your color key. It's important to use colors that are light because when you print them, it will print darker than what you're seeing it on the screen. So that's why we've decided to use the colors that we did. If you choose to use a, a darker blue, it's you're not going to be able to see the text um, printed out. Even the color blue that we chose, it's borderline almost too dark. So there you have it, a simple way to capture all the high level details of your trip in one easy to read place. If learning a new program sounds like too much for you right now, or you simply don't have Microsoft Excel, we've included two blank templates for you to print out. They'll be included in the download with the Excel templates as well as two completed spreadsheets for your reference. You can tailor your spreadsheet to your liking and include only the information that you find valuable. This is also a great resource for you to provide your friends and family before you leave on your trip, just in case something happens. We hope you find this tool as helpful as we do. That's it for now. Until next time, happy, happy planning. planning.